what is up nerds cloud here with my first honkai star rail video i was lucky enough to get into the second wave of cbt's so i've been going hard on the game as much as i can never letting my trailblaze power overlap and i'll get into all that today this video uh will be more of a rambling video i've wanted to put out a video and i keep telling myself i'm going to do it however i keep waiting for the perfect opportunity and the perfect clip and the perfect summon but I just want to get this information out there to kind of just give myself a checkpoint and put myself to the fire to put out content. And if you've been on this channel for any period of time, you know that I've put videos out for Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, for Last Claudia, for World Flipper, which I absolutely am still playing World Flipper. Expect more pull videos. But I've been looking forward to this game since I've heard of its production. Uh, was a huge fan of the Genshin Impact series. Uh, kind of left the Genshin realm when a lot of my friends stopped playing when I was just soloing it. Um, was getting good numbers on my streams though, so that was uh, that was nice for content creation. Um, this game fits more of the aesthetic of Genshin that I like, on top of the Final Fantasy turn-based combat that I like. Kind of like Epic Seven with its own unique feel. It's I'll get into all that. Like I said, this is more of a rambling video, and as we go forward, the videos I'll put together will be a little bit more robust and uh, thought out. So, uh, again, this is just kind of like my initial thoughts of the game, along with how this CBT has been treating me. So, without further ado, on the screen right now, you can see that I'm at Trailblaze level 30. I just unlocked Equilibrium level 2. Um, which I'll get into that in other videos, but essentially that just means I'm able to level up to level 50 along with uh, some of the items that I have. So I'm um, starting on the menu. Um, so as you can see, it's from your phone. So immediately I love that aesthetic. It's it's immersion, right? Like you're always a part of the world that they're in and each character has a different phone cover. Uh, the phone's completely blank when you look at it, but um, so just going down the list from again cbt all these things can change um it definitely gives off that genshin impact vibe where your currency there's like multiple types of currency but realistically there's three there's your typical uh stellar jade which your stellar jade is what you use for like your free currency while the uh, i don't even know the name of it it's not called heretic contract I can't even think of the name because I've never been able to see it. Uh, yeah, the Onoric Shard uh, is your fr uh, premium currency. So as of right now in the CBT, we're unable to purchase anything. I totally would purchase something. Um, so it's restricting you to kind of live in that free-to-play lifestyle right now, uh, which it's totally doable. Um, but the store, like I said, there's different currencies depending on what you summon. Um, again, rambling at this, not really coherent stuff, but, um, again, in Genshin Impact, you're able to use currency after you exchange or you summon so much, you're able to use that currency to exchange for items. So even though you get dupes, dupes, it's not just a, uh, another item to use for XP. You can go into the Ember exchange and get either experience or for your cones or for more credits or, um, items to level up a character you hear me reference genshin a lot because it takes a lot of information from that uh friends menu is your typical i'm going to use my friends to do this to do that um you get 2000 uh credits every time your character is used by someone so pretty cool uh the assignments is your i'm going to send out someone or a couple of my characters to either get character materials uh, experience uh, it ranges from four hours eight hours 12 hours to 20 hours um as of right now again cbt uh the character materials is what i'm going to send mostly out for um i'm sure at some point character xp will be where i keep it but for now now that i've unlocked this for these level three mats uh, i'll be sending them out on that uh synthesize your typical um item selection in the game uh, you can craft items to use before battle to help you in battle. Uh, you can help. You can use mats to level up. There's achievements, which just fun things to do that uh, also add another layer to gameplay, whether it's inside or outside combat. Messaging um, in a similar game uh, like Nikkei, 
You're able to communicate with your summoned units or characters that exist in the world. So having a text message, you can uh, have a, a conversation with them where you give them a reply and they give you a quest, but just adds personality to each character. Um, again, data bank is for information about the game that you've collected thus far. Um, characters I'll probably save for a little bit later. Um, the guide is a big part. This is where mostly everyone will be for your dailies. Um, trailblazer power is your resin, uh, is your, when you're talking about a gotcha game where it fits for like, I need to play the game for 20 minutes to burn my energy. This is where it is. Um, so starting from left to right, uh, you have your, again, your progress book, just things that the game believes you should be doing at the rank that you're at, getting rewards. Um, again, I love items that like, oh, go button. It, it takes you directly where you need to be. Um, always been a big fan of that. Um, here's your dailies. The dailies are very easy to, to complete. Um, again, another one where you just click go and it sends you directly to it. Again, in a game that's massive, uh, like Genshin Impact, uh, you have to walk everywhere, or teleport, then walk, then fly, which that immersion's awesome, right? There's no denying that uh, that expansive Breath of the Wild kind of exploration is, is awesome. But uh, when you're talking about a gotcha game for the average working um, individual, it's nice just to be able to kind of complete your dailies, burn your energy, and then get back to the game in eight hours. Uh, at least that's how I feel sometimes. Uh, again, I'd love to make, you're speaking to existence, I'd love to make content creation a full-time job um, to be able to find more avenues of content. But for the average person, I think just being able to complete these pretty quickly. Again, things could change. Uh, they're fast. You get 10 gems for each one. Again, just rambling. Uh, go into further detail. Uh, again, this is the big part of it, right? I talk about this when I'm streaming the game on Tuesdays, Thursdays at 4 p.m. EST. Or PSD, not EST, PSD. Um, but this is where you're going to be spending all your trailblazer uh, trail energy. Um, it's a lot of different submenus uh, for relics, for items to equip, um, to level up mats, to this thing called Echoes of War, which is another... There's a lot of, again, another video that you see a bunch of content creators discuss, including myself. But um, this game, I just feel like you have to kind of like program your schedule like okay i'm gonna level up these characters so my intent is to work on the xp credits or like i'm working on this one character and i need to level up i need to get their abilities up uh oh for echo war which is three times a week i need to make sure that i i'm working on this character or i'm trying to get these um echoes like there's different things um again just kind of i'll stop saying it now but rambling uh, Nameless Honor is your, the again, the Genshin equivalent of the book, where once you complete tasks for the free-to-play side, um, again, you get this very top part of the Nameless Gift, but the Nameless Glory, once you unlock, uh, once you pay to unlock this section, uh, you'll get access to better rewards on top of the free-to-play rewards. Um, and then at the end, you'll be able to choose from not weapons, because weapons don't exist in this game, uh, the weapons, again, if you're coming from Genshin Impact, uh, turn into these uh, different types of uh, echoes or co light cones, not echoes. I keep I want to call them echoes because light cone just doesn't feel like it fits a card. Um, but instead of weapons, this is it. So I uh, would love to be able to purchase it, but uh, for the current CBT, uh, there's simply no, no way to do so. Um, uh, missions are just your uh, your progress. So right now, the Trailblaze mission is your main story. I have been... You get stuck sometimes where like you need to be Trailblaze level 29, which is your adventure rank, essentially. Um, which, again, some people might not like. Some people want to kind of burn through the, the oil to get to the very top. But uh, I, on two different accounts, had to play the game and then had to get off because I simply couldn't go any further because of Trailblaze. There's things I could have done. There's there's fights you could do, but um, navigation is just your map. Tutorials, again, same thing in Genshin. It's uh, a wealth of knowledge that you'll need to keep. And then I don't know if this will exist in the final version, but the we have the bug report. Um, a lot of different menus, a lot of different menus. I'll show you guys the home screen in a second. But um, 
clean. Uh, responsive buttons. Uh, love the way that the... And again, we'll be able to change this background. But like, I love the way that the characters have individual phones. Uh, I'm going to exit out of this fight. And I'm going to get into a quick fight. And uh, I'm going to do my best to explain it as quick as possible. But... Um, uh, yeah, yeah, the combat acts like Persona, where you attack the enemy. It's it's not random. You can if you see the enemy, you fight the enemy. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this because it deserves its own video itself. It's a very simplistic uh, turn-based combat that doesn't. It has an auto, has a two times function. Uh, the second I click this, this character Herda is absolutely just gonna eviscerate everything. <laughs> um, uh, which is another video I'm excited to make. I think Herda is the best next to the traveler uh the best free to play um combat's nice it's i've always been a fan of the turn based i love that the genshin has the level of like your different abilities and different um types of damage that you do the elements they coincide and after two elements it makes a, a reaction um there's no like reactions in this game uh it's more uh, types of so if I'm if Branya is a wind type um, again it, it deserves its own video um, I, last time I'll say it um, the CBT has been great so far uh, they haven't been giving out a lot of summons um, the summoning has been uh, hurtful for you boy uh, I have no other five star aside from the first banner that you get it's a uh, after 50 summons you're guaranteed uh, it's a starter one. Hopefully it exists during the launch of the game. Uh, but Sila, I'm absolutely going for. She's the character that even on stream, I was like, this is the girl. Um, I'm sitting at, I think, 62 summons for her. Again, completely free to play because we don't have any access to purchasing. Um, but uh, same as Genshin. The first time you are on banner, it's a 50-50 to get the on-rate character or an off-banner. Uh, if you don't get the on banner character, then the second five star you get on that banner will be the one that's rated up. Um, that also goes for if the banner goes away. So it, it, it fits the exact same Genshin, uh, which I, I, I've honestly been a fan of. I like the, I like knowing that it's a mystery, but at the same time, I like knowing that the character is going to be mine. And then uh, there's two different types. Like we talked about different currency. There's gold for on banner, and then you have your regular silver for off banner. Um, uh, the CBT has been responsive. The audio has been great. There's been a few, uh, issues. There's no jump button, which is so, so arbitrary, but, uh, it's always weird to, to think I'm playing a Genshin like game, um, with no jumping. Uh, it's just jumping feels like I should do something, um, or should be able to do something. Um, again, the music's been really good. Again, the combat, the summoning, all these should have their own videos, the characters, uh, the leveling up, all that. I just kind of wanted to put this video out now for my f my f initial thoughts. Um, uh, it's a great game. Uh, I'm enjoying it thus far. Again, if you want to join, link is in the description below uh, for the live streams. I will continuously grind through this game as much as I possibly can um, from uh, every day, but Tuesdays and Thursdays live on Twitch. Um, so if you guys want to come through, learn some more stuff. If not, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll be putting out some more videos. I think the next video I'm going to put out is about what I believe to be the free-to-play characters that you'll get during the initial launch that I think you should invest in. Again, coming from a lot of other gacha games, I understand that the free-to-play mindset is typically what gets a lot of people into the game. Um, a lot of people will look at the game like, oh, it's visually gorgeous, or the combat's good, or the developers who I appreciate but um, the free-to-play aspect will either make or break a game if people think that they can't progress. Um, and I am confidently saying that, at least with the initial characters, I'm able to... I haven't been hard stuck on anything that I have been able to go around after a little bit of farming. But I'll keep spinning my wheels. That's why I typically stream more than make content. But um, again, a very robust video, but just wanted to get something out there. So again... Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you nerds being here. And I do not know what happens when I press this button.